dozy plod in North Wales were responsible for a convicted drug dealer being given back his firearms and then getting him fined for it. 37-year-old Craig Alton was jailed for cocaine and cannabis offences and was jailed for more than three years in 2021. Anyone jailed for three years or more is supposed to automatically be barred from owning a firearm or any other weapon. However, North Wales Police gave back two air rifles that they had confiscated from him, which then led to Craig being hauled up in front of a judge at Carnarfon Magistrates Court, where he was fined £120. Prosecutor Julia Galston said Alton had been jailed for three years at Carnarfon Crown Court in 2012 for being concerned in the supply of cocaine. He also received a one-year term of imprisonment for being concerned in the supply of cannabis and four weeks in custody for possession of cannabis, both running concurrently to the main sentence. The total sentence was four years and four weeks, taking it over the three-year threshold, which meant he was then prohibited from possessing any weapon, she added. On December 22nd last year, Alton was arrested on suspicion of assault. Two air rifles were seized. No further action was taken regarding the assault allegation. But, Ms Goldston said on January the 19th, 2022, the air rifles were released back to the defendant in error. One officer even saw the weapons at Alton's property, Ms Goldston said. He advised the defendant that they should be stored safely. Then, on April the 4th this year, a police officer went to Alton's house and seized a brake barrel air rifle and a metal tin of pellets. Defending Alton, Andrew Scott, said Alton pleaded guilty to the offence. He added, to be fair to Mr Alton, he was confused by the situation. Why did the police give the guns back if he was prohibited from having guns? I can't answer that. The magistrate's chairman said that Alton should have known he shouldn't have had the weapons. Whatever North Wales Police did or didn't do. Finding him £120, Magistrate's Chairman John Rooney said, What makes this more serious is we have to take into account your previous convictions. Your track record goes with you. You were on post-sentence supervision at the time, and whatever the police did or did not do, you knew quite well that you were prohibited from possessing firearms. Possessing an air weapon when prohibited for life. Along with the £120, Alton was ordered to pay £85 costs and a £34 victim surcharge. Now personally, I don't disagree that rules should be in place, but I ask myself how this happened. You all know that if a copper stops you in the street, or stops you for driving, they are all over you. Name, name, address, where are you going? I need to search you on the PNC like a hook I need to crack. But this guy, whatever he did, was simply handed his weapons back when he was on a supervision order, meaning that practically everything he does needs to be scrutinised by police, and yet they gave him his weapons back. I mean, this is like what happened in Plymouth when Jake Davidson was given his shotgun back and went on to shoot a load of innocent people. How stupid are the police these days? They are clearly only interested in certain offences and literally don't give a shit about protocol, procedure or doing the right fucking thing.